This video takes a look at the five studio albums by The Police. The Police were um, one of the unique British bands from the late 70s, early 80s, um, led by bassist, vocalist and songwriter Sting, real name Gordon Sumner. Andy Summers was the guitarist and Stuart Copeland was the drummer. Um, their music was pretty unique. It married rock, reggae, punk and um, other influences. But uh, they were quite energetic and uh, very, very successful. They were in fact one of the biggest bands in the world at one stage. Um, so let's take a look at these albums right now. The first album was released on A&M Records in 1978 and it was called Outlandos Timor. Um, this was released just as punk was kind of in mid-flight or falling to pieces. Um, it had the uh, big hits on it, um, Next to You, So Lonely, Roxanne, um, Can't Stand Losing You, Truth Hits Everybody. Uh, it's recorded in Surrey Sound and engineered by Nigel and Chris Gray. Um, it's not my favourite police album, um, but it's got the sound. The um, echo flange, the guitar of Andy Summers, and the uh, energetic, um, superb drumming of Stuart Copeland and Sting's whiny vocal. He sound quite high in the early years. Um, but it's an enjoyable album. Um, this marriage of reggae and rock. The A uh, and M label logo. So yeah, it's um, a good debut and uh, enjoyable. But album number two, I think, is where the magic starts coming together a little bit more. Regatta de Blanche. Um, this is from 1979. And it's got the superb message in a bottle. And then Regatta de Blanche itself is an instrumental. Um, which I write for you. Bring on the night. Um, it's one of my favourite police tracks. The drums on this are snappy and loud. Um, it's, it's just great. Yeah. Again, this one is produced by um, Nigel Gray. Um, I think the first two albums were recorded on an 8-track. Uh, uh, Walking on the Moon is on this. Um, yeah, so, um, and, and another cool reggae track is The Bed's Too Big Without You. Uh, it's uh, an enjoyable listen. Um, I, I just like this album. Uh, and you got your generic AM label. Yeah, so highly enjoyable. Uh, it's more complete. It's It's got kind of more of a flow to it than the first album. Um, that's why I like it more. Um, album number three is. Zenyata Mandata. Um, this one um, is another good album. Again, the sound is, um, you know, sharp, clear. It's got the hits on it. Uh, Don't stand so close to me. Driven to tears when the world is running down. Um, the uh, novel and funny Canary in a coal mine. Voices inside my head, bombs away. And then, of course, the big single, the do do do, the da da da. Um, behind my camel man in the suitcase, shadows in the rain. Um, the other way of stopping. Um, this is also produced by Nigel Gray and recorded at uh, Whistle Lord Studios, um, Hilversum, Netherlands. Um, yeah, it's. I, I, I won't say it's better than Regatta, but. Um, 
it's yeah I like it I like Bombs Away it's a great one the lyrics are good um, like Andy Summers and Stuart Copeland also wrote and um, their songs are very different than Sting's songs Sting usually wrote all the hits <laughs> and there's some great photographs in this um, you know they were kind of starting to get very big in America at this time um, and this has the custom label on it yeah so yeah it's a good album yeah it's one of the better police albums and this is Ghost in the Machine um, this was kind of met with lukewarm reviews when it came out um, the reason being um, it has spirits in the material world um, every little thing she does with magic invisible sun they were three big hits from the album in 1981 um, hungry for you is just you know plods along it's sung in French by Sting um, Demolition Man is just more or less two chords it's a bit annoying in a way um, it's just novel funny it's kind of it's half ska um, but in recent years I just really like this album um, you know it, too much information again they're, the songs are built on vamps it's a little bit like Talking Heads when they were doing the um, Remain in Light album um, you know there's definitely an African influence there Rehumanize Yourself, One World it it, it kind of seems to be like that this album was kind of rushed or something they were they were very big at the time they were tax exiles I think they were all living in Ireland at the time I'm sure um, I know Andy Summers was because um, I actually saw him a few times in the town I'm living in um, Secret Journey, Darkness uh, this one was recorded um, in um, Beer Studios, Montserrat, and it's in the video for every little thing she does with magic. And it's produced by um, the police and Hugh Padjam. Hugh Padjam worked with um, Phil Collins and moved on to work with Genesis and um, people like that. Um, I like this album. Uh, Ghost in the Machine is the title of a book by um, Arthur Kressler. Um, I just like it. Um, the drums are big on it. Um, it's it's just enjoyable. It's it's kind of raw. It's uh, dark as well. It's quite dark. Um, so microchip to go to the machine. You can just see images of the band. Um, and it's got the kind of digital numeration um, police. <laughs> and it's a different color on the other side. It's, it's a custom label. I really like that. Um, I just find myself listening to it all the time in the car. Um, there's some good sessions as well, outtakes uh, from this era, 1981. Um, one is called um, Shambell, which is an instrumental by Andy Summers, and it's a fantastic track. One of my favourite uh, police B-sides. Um, Low Life is another song, I think by Sting, and that's a good song. They could have been into, they could have been included on this album, um, maybe instead of Demolition Man. I know Grace Jones covered that song. Um, it's just a bit, you know, just, just, yeah, it doesn't really go anywhere, you know, those, those, that song, um, but yeah, um, it's still, I like this album, um, I'm just really drawn to it at the moment, and I can't stop listening to it. And finally, um, we have, uh, Synchronicity, and this was released in 1983, uh, when the band were at the peak of their powers, they were huge in America, um, Synchronicity actually goes this way because the spine is over here and the opening is over here so this is actually the way it goes um, so it does all record sleeves um, Synchronicity was absolutely huge um, because it had every bet you take on it King of Pain wrapped around your finger T in the Sahara um, this was big this was one of the biggest selling albums of 83 uh, the band weren't getting on when they did record it. Um, they recorded again in uh, Montserrat, I think, with um, 
in Pad Jam producing. Um, there's a lot of guitar synthesizers on it as well by Andy Summers. Um, Synchronicity, Walking Your Footsteps, Oh My God, Miss Gradinko. Um, Mother, oh, <laughs> that's an Andy Summers track and it's just it's ridiculous. It's it's just kind of Arabic music going through. It's, and he's screaming about his mother. It's just doesn't really suit the album, but yet it's kind of a spanner in the works. Like I said, they were probably killing each other at the time. Um, hated each other. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, the police in 1983. Sting's ego was the size of a 100 story building. And um, it's it's a good album. Um, it's much more polished and accomplished, we'll say, than all the others. Um, so yeah, it's 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 very different than Ghost, um, which you can see where they were heading. Um, so yeah, 1984, there wasn't much stare from the police, and um, in 1985, Sting released his first solo LP, The Dream of the Blue Turtles. And then in 1986, they released the greatest hits, uh, the singles, and um, they released um, a new recorded version of Don't Stand So Close To Me, which I'm not really mad on. Um, and it's even got Lynn drums on it and stuff, because I think just before they were recording it, I think uh, Stuart Copeland, I think he broke his leg or broke his arm or something like that, and he doesn't actually appear on it. <laughs> he programmed the beat. Um, so yeah, it's kind of all over by then. Um, they still didn't technically they were splitting up but um, again in 1987 Sting released another solo album Nothing Like The Sun and you know there was no way they were getting back together after that um, his solo career was ticking off so uh, yeah that's um, it really that's The Police uh, that is their five studio albums um, there's been live albums released since then and more greatest hits and all that kind of stuff but um, you don't really need them because this is all you need um, there's also um, Message in a Box, which is a four CD um, collection of everything, and that's worth getting. You could pick that up quite cheaply. I have it, and um, it's got all the B sides, like I said. So um, yeah, but uh, I think the albums just do the trick, and uh, Police were quite unique, and um, they hold a special place for me um, from way back then. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and thanks again and take care.